Okay, guys, we're back. Our uh, our rogue will be back in a moment once he uh, returns or shows up at the party. Currently, we're going to rest and see what happens. So, this guy is dead. You're free to carve him alive and eat him. Well, he's dead, yeah. so he's not alive anyway. Do we have anything to start a fire with, though? I don't know. Do you guys have anything to start a fire? This is, this is all ad lib at this part. We could burn some rope. We do, in fact, have 30 feet of rope. Is there sticks anywhere? Bear fur. There is bear fur. Oh, also, I retrieved my spear that was stuck in the bear. Yes, you do. And are there any rocks the on the floor? There's there are indeed the, rocks on the floor. The dead witch okay. lady's clothing. Yeah. Ew. Yes, there is. Um, I would like to pick up two rocks and gather some bear fur and... I guess the old lady's clothing and try and start a fire. <laughs> you could probably skin the bear. Okay. You get some fur, you get some clothing. You attempt to start a fire, roll me a wisdom save, a wisdom check. This will act as your survival. And you gain one experience. <laughs> um, you guys are cold for a night. Everyone mark constitution. Okay, did we, um, can we eat our rations? Yes, you can. You have three days worth of food. That was with the rogue. Uh, so you have one extra day. Okay. So you have four days worth of food, you eat one, so and there's three days of remaining. I would like to feed the cockroach. You now have five days worth of cockroach food left remaining. Can I ask the stones around us if they know of, like, a niche in the cavern or whatever anywhere nearby that we could possibly stay warm in? Roll me a 2d6 plus a uh, sick charisma. So charisma check. That works too. You gain one experience. Uh, the stones... Uh, speak to you, but they speak in a form that you do not understand. Almost as, as if they are magically inclined to not speak to you. Well, that's unfortunate. In this long, dark tunnel below a witch's house, filled with mystical blue torches that cannot be removed from the walls. <laughs> Can we not all huddle together to be warm? That's not, that's not really gonna help. It gets pretty cold. Okay. You are underground, you know. I hate that witch. At the end of the day, okay. this this is a tunnel out. It's just there was a monster in here. I would like to. Did we search the bear yet? Yes, you can search the bear. Would you like? Okay, I would like to search the bear for anything. Okay. So first of all, you find his pants. Um. Inside his pants, you find <laughs> sausage and eggs. Are legit. <laughs> That's <laughs> wow. Uh, jokes aside, um, you do find what appears to be a broken axe. Okay. I will take it and put it on the cockroach. Okay. Mark it down as two weight, and it's an axe. Okay. I'm not keeping track of the cockroach's weight, am I? Um, you don't really have to. Just keep track of the weapons, you know? Like, anything you throw at him. I believe it's rope and... Well, you didn't yeah, put the armor item, so just make sure you keep track of the items. You don't have to mark the weight. Okay. Okay, I believe the rope. The rope was two weight, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mark it right here. Two and the axe is also two. Okay. You do just that. What do you want to do now? Is it morning? It is now. I'm actually going to, I'm not going to immediately go to sleep. I'm going to pretend to go to sleep. Okay, everyone else wrote me a contract. Espionage. They are both still awake as you think that you might be able to sneak out. Oh, I would like to feed my spider. You feed the spider. You took my spider? A near insignificant amount of food. And it barks at you. <laughs> I'm going to continue pretending to sleep. Roll me context again. 
Yep, so I hit it twice. Uh, the cleric is definitely asleep. Yes, I was spooning and with this so the paladin. metal paste palette. Yeah. <laughs> going to sneak over to the cleric and pour the um, baby slime potion into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Pour it like directly into his mouth. Yeah, I'm gonna rub his throat so he drinks it. My corrupting influence. <laughs> I'm. You're I'm a bad that. person. <clears throat> okay. Um, I would like my our cleric to roll another constitution check. Okay, you know no immediate effect. Cleric, mark all your stats as a minus one. I'm now gonna go to sleep. I'm <laughs> secretly laughing. Cleric, you're gonna keep making those checks and I'll tell you when to stop. So, we'll get to that later. Um, now... Does anyone do anything, or is everyone still asleep? Other than kill that person, no. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up in the morning, cleric constitution check. <clears throat> uh, your throat feels a little weird. It's dry, yet oozy. Awkward. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> Are you not? <laughs> there was a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there is, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let's press on. Guys, press on. Uh, it's not too far after from here that you eventually f see a light at the end of the tunnel. That is not one of these weird blue torches. Let's go to it. Okay. Um, you stand what seems to be on the side of the cliff. You look out, and there is like the like the remains of a staircase that leads you to the top. Um, it looks a little treacherous, but from here it looks like there's definitely no more no more weird bear monsters. Yeah, I'm gonna go up the stairs. Okay. Um, is anyone actually on the cockroach or no? No, he's just trotting behind us. Okay. I think, anyway. Everyone roll deck check. And Jake, you will never contract. Okay, our bard might fall to his doom. Let's find out in a moment. Our cleric might also fall to his doom. But you're not dying from a poison cleric. Yeah. Um. Okay. Eight. You see the bard trip. He's about to lose his foot, lose his footing. But you also see the cleric trip and and who do you say first? This is like Ooh, a split I feel this could gap. have real this life is... implications on me. <laughs> Both look like they're about to fall to their doom. What do you do? Uh, I will. Which one's closest to me? You can Probably. reach either one. <clears throat> You're a mean person. Unfortunately, that's the way it goes. I'm gonna save the cleric. You save the yeah. cleric. The cleric is fine. Bard. You're falling. This is like we're moving at milliseconds at this point. What do you do? Can I... Um, I'm gonna throw the rope at the cliff. Okay. Like kind of un unspooling only like some of it. You have ten feet of rope. Yep. You can throw it. Roll me a deck check. Shit. You miss, guys. Can I can I try and grab the rope? You can, but it'd be a de another deck check. I rolled it twice, fuck. Okay, well, you, you critically succeeded. Uh, the cleric rolled another con check and then a strength check. You succeeded in your con check. You failed at your strength check. You are barely holding on. Kate, you are literally the only thing keeping these guys from falling. Roll me a strength check. Okay, oh. you're holding. Uh, Bard. You have to climb up, that's a strength check. Succeeding. Uh, Cleric, con, and then another strength check. Passing your con, but you're losing your grip. Eight. he looks like he's about to fall. This is all done in slow motion, guys. 
<laughs> the, cl the, cleric the, the cleric is about to fall again. Okay, as I am falling, I touch the mountain or whatever we're on with my cubed gloves. <laughs> you touch the mountain with your cubed gloves. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll get back to that in a moment. Because that, that will either help or hinder everyone right now. Well, I'm hoping on help, but <laughs> the character's getting desperate. <laughs> okay, um, Bard, one more strength check. You might make it out of this. Okay, you're on the ledge. You have to climb up on your own. Cleric? Oh, not Cleric. Paladin, you can go for the, you can go for the uh, Cleric here. You want to do that? Is the Bard going to be safe? Bard is holding on to the side of the cliff. He will... Have to make checks as long as he doesn't quit it, as long as he doesn't fail, he won't fall. Okay, I'm gonna go for the cleric. Okay. Roll me that check. Oh okay. So, um cleric, you touch the side touch the side. Um, it does turn into a series of cubes, but it doesn't really help you in the situation. Um, Bard, you're in a better situation now because it is it somehow gave you more of a grip than it did originally. So it helped you, but it didn't help him. Um, Cleric, roll me an icon check. You're still passing your context. Okay. Um, no one's grabbing you. You're falling. Um, everyone's technically out of reach. There is a rope. Can I, can I, like, stab my spear into the side of the mountain to try and hold on to? You have you have two options. It's either the spear or the rope. But admittedly, no one's holding on onto the rope, so it might not help you. Say, so I'm gonna go for the spear. <laughs> uh, strength check. Actually, okay, strength check. But you also do your con check. One. Okay, you're passing. You stab it into the side of the wall, and you slide down 15 feet. You are technically out of reach, but you're not dead. Everyone can relax. At this point, the bard can easily be pulled up by the uh, paladin. Okay, but now the cleric the is up. 15 feet down. You have no rope. Okay, I'm gonna go down 15 feet and try and pull the cleric up. Okay. And everything's cubes now, so you could probably relatively easily just step down. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little hard. You know what? Yeah, because it is cubes, and we're doing Minecraft at this point. Um, you can find your way down. It's just a matter of the cleric jumping to you. So it's still going to be a con them. check and then a strength check. Wait, 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 wait. What, what are you doing? Come on. Before I come down, can I bring the rope? With um, the ten foot rope that went down. It's it's gone. Oh, okay. It was like a tr it was mostly a trick because if he at the cleric grabbed onto it, it would just fell along with him. Okay, is is the cockroach still behind us though? Like, is he on the stairs? He is on the stairs. You could take his rope. Okay, yeah, I want to take the cockroach's rope. Okay, you take his rope. And okay. I want to tie it to myself. Mhm. Mm and I want to throw it at the cleric. Okay, that's a deck check. For me or her? For her. Success. Cleric, you have the rope. Yay. Now you just have to climb up, but it does mean you lose your spear. Can I pull my spear out? Use it not, like not at this angle. Because once you once you grab onto this rope, you will swing away from it the instant. You would not be able to grab the spear. Uh. It's either you do it or you die. Like. <laughs> I really like that spear. <laughs> <laughs> could he, could he tie, like, not tie, but like, wrap one, his arm around the rope and then use his feet at the cliff and use his feet to kind of jump out and pull the spear with it? Right, like rappel off if the mountain. If you really want to try that, you can. But first, okay, so make your deck check because you're trying to get it out of the wall and then roll a con check. <laughs> so you pull it out of the wall, and the spear falls all the way down. No. Mixed now roll me a strength check to not let go because you're only currently holding the rope with one hand. 
What the hell? <laughs> this character is doomed. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's nothing you can do. Um, you can fall to your doom. Roll me divine intervention. Come on. <laughs> your god, my good your god shuns you as you fall to your doom. Oh no! Claire's can I? Can I? Can I? <laughs> I'm offer sorry. my soul to Cthulhu and try and help him? Um. Yes, you can. Would you? You want to do that? Yes. Um. No, she doesn't mean her soul, like her, the one in no, her. No, like, he's a little human soul. Yeah, I'm aware. So roll me. Do is a wisdom check. Roll it. Oh, Let's God. see if he's even willing to listen to you. Succeeded. He wants the demon soul, and for you to do one thing for him. Okay. Okay. He wants you to sacrifice five people in his name, and they must be innocents. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Cleric, you die. You see death. You see everything that you would expect to see in your moment of moment in the afterlife. You know. Yeah. Um, you also see the, like Enderman. You see him there and saying like, "Come on! All you do <laughs> was find me a glove, like boots and a helmet, and you die anyway." He says yeah. that you're still you still have to do that, and then you <laughs> yeah. you literally you're, you, he literally picks you up, throws you back up into the air, and all of a sudden you are standing next to Kate here. Okay, as I was flying up, did I manage to grab my spear? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you didn't. Damn it! <laughs> well, I appreciate God, you're welcome you. again. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spending a lot of time in perilous situations, apparently. Okay, so because you came back from the dead, you can <laughs> remove all the marks on your stats. <laughs> um, like, I'm pretty sure guys, I just, pretty... This, is the, this is the third time I've saved you because I pulled you out of that black hole, too. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> is, isn't it? The, the cleric's kind of looking like, guys, can we fuck trying to kill the Demon King and settle down in the town? <laughs> you might as well. You keep dying. <laughs> to be honest, this particular adventure is not safe for a group of 14-year-olds anyway. <laughs> oh, wow. <clears throat> well, you can't blame the bard. You've passed every single one of your contracts. Hey, is my contract off now because we're not cold anymore? Um, not until like, like midday. It's still pretty early in the morning. It's kind of cold. Okay. I'm gonna give the cleric my glass sword. <laughs> you can yeah, the cleric you glass. Are. <laughs> like that fixes everything. <laughs> cleric, you now have a glass sword. Okay, I I want to know what your plan was. You're gonna tell me later. Yeah, I Why will. Not? I'm gonna say it at the end of the session. Okay. Um, tell them what the stats and the weight are. It's a ornate glass sword with an ivory handle, with a weight of one. Got a cleric? Yep. Okay. So unfortunately, lost your spear, which was magic and deal double damage to undead. But now you have a glass ornate sword. Looks very nice. Yeah. Very well. It's a very I'm nice sword. For the second I hit anything with it, but you know, <laughs> it might. It really depends on what you hit. Fuck, like you're a dwarf. As far as you're concerned, this this is a child's toy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But it is glass, and therefore it will still cut something when it shatters. Yep. <laughs> so, guys, proceed mm -hmm. out off the staircase. I'm not gonna make you rolls because I don't want to see all you di all of you die after everything you just did. <laughs> <laughs> um, you make it to the top, and you are essentially back in the desert. Um, Did I retie everything to put on the cockroach? Yeah, I'll, I'm fine with that. There's, like, you don't really have to worry about it. You retie everything back on, all the stuff is there. Um, and you arrive on top of the cliff, you see a door, this is a metallic door, and will lead you to the next floor you want to go. Yes. 
That's a very good choice. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to face those stairs again, so this is kind of our only option. Yeah. <clears throat> Walk into the test. Can I inspect the door and, uh, or can actually the cleric inspect the door and see, uh, if it's like evil or something? Fire traps. Yeah, I can. I can roll a wisdom check for that. Good. Ask Seven. one question. What do you want to know? Uh, what are we looking at here? A door? Yes, it's a, another one of those metallic doors. Like the one with the covered in gears? Uh, like the ones that divide one floor to the next. Oh. Um. What's the best way to open the door? Uh, the doorknob. That, that, that was not a very good question. Wow! Oh, I would have asked if there's any traps or like several other better. <laughs> well, I'm expecting it to be like magically locked or some shit. Every other floor was not magically locked. Why would this yeah. one be? I don't know. Okay. I was on the other side of the room when you guys were talking about the door anyway. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Alright, my character's gonna volunteer to open the door because he's feeling uh, guilty. <laughs> okay. You op you touch the door knob. This is what you feel. And I'll message to you, message to you in a moment. Okay, what do you do? Um, I'll open the door and head in. Okay, I'll you go in. <clears throat> okay, you go in. It the room is pretty much pitch black. Cause it, um, you still have your light route if the player can want to use it. That's that's what I pictured being special about this door as he touched it. <laughs> Why? Let me see. You say that, but I have no idea what you're talking about. The you thing I just sent in Skype. Oh, where, uh, where is it? Okay, one sec. <laughs> sure. Unfortunately, I can't show it on stream, so whoever's watching, inside check. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. Love a good inappropriate joke. Yeah, Love it. That's, that's basically all I have. Um, yeah, um, I, I will cast light on my now on my, my shiny glass sword and <clears throat> hold it forward like it's a torch. <laughs> Your sword glows like a lightsaber. And oh. now that you light this room and you look around, someone roll me a d1000. Not me, I keep rolling. Wait, fucking. I'll do it. I want someone to do. I contributed. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Okay. Yeah. You stand this door open and you look out into what seems to be a dark and damp Victorian uh, Victorian style town. Nice. I actually like. Imagine that. Sherlock Holmes, but a little more nitty gritty. Is there people in it? It seems empty. Cold, Damn. and the wind blows as the howl howling as it passes through the as uh, the sound of metal creaks in the distance. Um, you also you're much colder now than you were before, so everyone still has a minus one con. I would um, like to yeah. search for like heat of some sort. Okay, uh, with perception check. That's your wisdom. Ooh. Okay, you're hurt. you're searching for heat specifically. Um, there are homes. Your best shot will be to go inside. Okay, I will go inside the first home I see, and I'm bringing my cockroach with me, which I named Victor. Okay, Victor's following you from behind. Awesome name. <laughs> uh, the door does seem to be locked. What do you do? I'm gonna smash it. Yeah, I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna run into it with my and heavy. You have no option. No. There's no chance of failure whatsoever. You smash this door. It can no longer be closed. That's okay. Which might be a bad thing. Can I can I just set the door back up? 
Um, I'm pretty sure you're pretty sure you broke the door up. Okay. Yeah, like you you can put it over the thing, but it's, it's not like you're wearing stop. a gigantic like power armor at this point. You knock this door down, like you push open. You like you knock down a deck of cards. Yeah. All right. Well, what's up? What's up? Uh, as you enter the room, you notice that there's clothing and shoes and things, but no sign of life other than. You see the signs of life, but no one alive anywhere you look. Are they dead? Are there just you see no one. No bodies. No blood. Almost as if everyone just disappeared in a moment. Okay. Well, this is weird, but I'm gonna, like, use their shit. I'm gonna, like... There is... I'm gonna make a fire. <laughs> like, this is, like, England... There's like a, like a little stove top that you could fill with wood and light on fire. Oh, oh. it's my homeland. Then. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, you have no trouble with that. There's like a little lighter, some fire oil. There's like all the signs of life, but no one to, no one around. Are there stairs? There are stairs that lead to the second floor. I'm going to go upstairs. Go to the second floor. Give me a perception check. Wow. <clears throat> you find a library and gain one experience. Hey, if you guys ever find me, if I like my virtual tree, should be I can navigate this place. Can can I uh, can I go up the stairs? Okay, you go upstairs. I was like, is it just a library, or is, is there? There's like a more bedroom? to it, but someone here failed, so all you find is a library. So I can't like continue looking around. All I see is a library too. You see a library and you see a hallway, but you can no longer make a check. So if there's something hidden, you will not know. But there is okay. a hallway. Okay. Can I go down the hallway? There are three doors in total. I will take the first one I come to. You open the first door. It seems to be a towel closet. Okay. You also notice that all these towels are very dirty. Ooh, weird. Okay. I'm gonna keep walking down the hall then. Okay. Now you're at the second door. Do you open it? Yeah, but like stealthily, like you know, like kind of like with a gun and a cop opening a door, like like with my sword or my mm. axe. Mm -hmm. I'm red. So, you open the door. It is too dark. Without a cleric who has a glowing sword with you. I was gonna say I'm standing like five feet behind her. There so. you go. <laughs> uh, you open it. It seems to be a bathroom. As you enter, it's dank and musky. We even uh, notice that the water is still working. And that the faucet is dripping. Drip. 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 Um, can I look around the room and see if there's anything hidden in here? Uh, I already said you can't make a check. Um, there is a medicine cabinet, there's, there's a shower curtain. Seems to be more towels, but they're all dirty too. Say, can we just open the medicine cabinet? <laughs> yeah, can we... Okay. Uh, you open it, and... <clears throat> sorry. Uh, bandages, what looks to be penicillin, and a number of unlabeled drugs that might be in there. Okay, I'm gonna take all those, and I'm gonna put them on Rick in Victor's pack. Okay. Uh, mark it down as negative... What med uh, first aid kit? So just a minus one med medical kit. So you can still make a check with it, but it, it imparts a minus one on the check. Well, I have a regular first aid kit. <laughs> well, now you have more. Yay! I'm gonna play my Song of Purge Enchantment, and I'm gonna concentrate on making the area of effect as wide as possible. Okay, roll it. You are outside or are you inside? Um, inside the house. Okay. Um, let's see, that is a seven, so that's a pass. So you clear the room, and this is what you see. I don't know, what, actually I'm just gonna tell you. Um, you cast it on the room. Everything around you, almost, af almost as if every book and every painting and everything in this room was staring at you. Wonderful. You start That's... playing. 
Any sound you heard before stops. Creaking, the wind, it all becomes silent. Super creepy. <laughs> Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I just, I made this place so happy. I'm going to um, play some nice elevator music on my horn. <laughs> okay, well, roll a charisma check. We're pretty much just trying to fill in the silence now. Yep. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> just made it creepier. <laughs> you made it creepier. Gain one experience. Guys, from above, you, you, uh, you're not even sure what you hear anymore. It sounds like, like, before you heard, like, like, the wind, you heard the creaking, you heard movement. Now all you hear is what sounds like someone screaming in bloody pain. And that might be someone playing the horn. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to the third door and check it out. You don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see... I'm gonna be standing um, behind her holding my glass sword. Because I don't want Leifon to sit here and not have anything to do. You see Leifon. Lying in the bed so. with his backpack. Like he just arrived here less than a, less than a day ago. I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm like, sorry, he's lying on the bed. Is he sleeping? He's totally asleep. Okay, I'm gonna get the cleric pointed out to him, and I want the cleric to go up to him with his sword at his throat because, like, I have a giant axe. So, like, <laughs> like I'm fine with being meta in this point because there's no easy way to bring in a new player after they just died, you know. So, yeah. as you talk to him, you realize eventually. That, yes, he is technically an innocent, but he's also supposed to be your party member. <laughs> um, he's also evil, so I don't know how innocent he really is. You guys don't know that. I... I feel like my character at this point would kill him, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, what? If that's what You're your character evil. would do, if that's what your character would do, then go ahead. No, it's just because you know I have to like. It's no, really, him. it's fine. If you want, well, if you want to kill this character, go ahead. I'll just squeeze in Leifon in again later. <laughs> <laughs> like, just repeatedly murder. <laughs> I'm gonna look to Claire and be like, "Yo, what do we do about this?" I'm going to cast guidance. <laughs> <laughs> we got some random guy sleeping, um, and you're having that much of a mole's like issues with this. You go to ask your deity for help. Okay, so Jake, you ask for assistance from your deity. Your deity is inter uh, intercepted, and instead you feel the like chill touch of the Enderman when you t when he touched you originally, and he's boots. standing there and pointing. Um, let's see, let's say north. He's just pointing north from where you are. Okay. You want to look out the window? Yes, yes I will. As you look out the window, uh, along the, along the cobblestone that uh, the cobblestone street, at the very end, is a tall manor at the top of a hill, and it looks super fucked up. It's like as that, a, that just as, as <laughs> it's like, there's no like out of a Tim Burton film because that's what I'm picturing. Is, right yeah, now. this is yeah. Uh, yeah, Tim Burton's would be a good way to go, but I was thinking more like Darkest Dungeon. Where whenever you're not looking directly at it, you see tentacles and weird faces staring at you from it. Nice. I like, so I'm I'm voting we go check out Creepy Manor on the hill. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna wake up the fighter and ask what happened here. Okay. I so fighter, like as far as you're concerned, you literally got here yesterday. You're climbing up the tower. Right. You have no specific goal in mind. It's just survival at this point. Okay. Go ahead. Do as you please. Can I, like, right, I'm gonna, um, when she touches me, I'm going to, like, um, wall up the way and point my spear at them out of panic. Okay, guys, proceed as you would. I'm not gonna interfere. This is RP at this point. Uh, what are you doing here? I should be asking you the same question. Uh, I have more people with me and I'm stronger than you. <laughs> right. A mighty boy, oh, I don't back down from challenges. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to fight? Like, because you can make that happen. <laughs> Everybody. The, the tin can and the person sitting over here on the bed. <laughs> There's no need for us to just randomly fight. 
we just randomly we showed up here looking for shelter, attempting to climb this tower, and we found you. And we don't We're know the tower too. <laughs> Why? Well, that is convenient. May we ally ourselves in our endeavors <laughs> to climb this tower? Well, I got nothing else going on. Okay, but let's be clear here. I'm I'm in charge of you. Yes. Yes, the, the paladin lady is in charge. <laughs> Eric, what are you doing? I've aligned myself with no one. <laughs> Eric, Do not make wait? me kill you. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Okay. My guy's still trying to make a better atmosphere. Okay. <laughs> trying to make it nice for everybody. With your horn screaming death noises. <laughs> it's like death metal. <laughs> oh. I see, I didn't see that one. Oh. Derp. Okay. Keep going. Um. So, are you gonna join us or are you gonna be on your own and make me kill you? It's up to you. I sense great evil in you. I'll join you. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> okay, um, I wish to ask the cleric what he wants to do. I want to go check out the manor on the hill. Okay. Uh, I agree to that, and I th we're gonna go tell the bard what we're doing. Tell him to stop playing his goddamn horn. <laughs> <laughs> Hurting our ears. Okay, when you get downstairs, um, Bard, you've been hearing a very eerie noise coming from outside, from the door you cannot close because someone broke it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just been staring at the door. Um, you get one question. What do you ask of it? Or do you want to ask a, an actual question? <laughs> Um, I'm going to ask if it's a dead or undead. Um, it's definitely undead. I'm then going to engage my bardic lore and ask what, how it died. Okay. Uh, let me double check. What do I have for this place? <clears throat> Uh, vampire spawn. Oh, fun. I'm going to whip the voodoo doll at him. <laughs> You're going to throw the voodoo doll at it. Um, you haven't seen it. It hasn't come inside yet. You, I'm but you've gonna, been hearing it, like, I'm just, just outside. I, yeah. I, I guess I'm just gonna, like, kind of an underhand throw to land it near the door. Okay. It's next to the door. I'm gonna watch it. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, w I lost like attention for two seconds, and what are we fighting now? Vampire spawnlings. Okay, what do they look like? They are what's oh, left of a person when the vampire bites them, if they don't become a vampire. Oh, okay. Cursed, well-ravaged, undead bodies. So I think like ghouls. Uh, okay. Slowly, the doll makes a gradual turn from what it is, which looks like the bard here, into a gray, frail husk. And then the doll stands up on two feet. I'm going to react with a shot from my bow. Well, hit. That's a, that's a crit. Uh, you can deal double damage. So just roll attack twice? Yes. Okay, well, let's see. That is a total of nine. Uh, the arrow hits it. Doll seems to still be moving. And it's kind of creepy that the doll has an arrow in it and is moving towards you. <laughs> you want to yell for help there, Brian? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay, I come down the stairs with my axe ready. Okay, so what you see yeah. is a, literally a small doll... Let's say it's Chucky, and it has an arrow in it, and it's moving towards him. I'm going to, uh, charge the doll and impale it with my spear. 
That might be the best option, right? Yep. So that's strength now, right? Mm-hmm. Succeed Eight. in hitting. Wait, what is a fighter's standard damage? Because it's not... Would it be D8 still, or...? Uh, let me look for it. Fighter... Uh, standard damage, D10. Nice. So yeah, so we have to change my... Uh... There we go. I got max damage. <laughs> max damage. Um, the doll stops. But you still hear more sounds coming. Almost as if there's... Almost as if there's more than one. Shit. I'm hopping on Victor, and we're gonna ride. <laughs> You're inside a house. You wanna go to the Shallow. second floor? Or what are you doing? I was already on this. I came down to the first floor. Yeah. So. I wanna leave the house and go to the mansion. Okay. My... Uh, you go outside, and you see what seems to be a horde of these very frail looking vampires slowly, slowly coming towards you. Do they look at me? They or all look at you. Do they seem hostile? If they could reach you, they'd probably try to eat you. They don't seem very fast oh. either. I'm gonna charge outside and impale another one. You wanna impale that Ten. one? Go ahead. Yep. Go ahead. Hit. Hit. Nine. Can I outrun them on my steed? Definitely you could. Fighter, okay. it impales through the spear and seems to not care as it literally impales itself further to reach you. Alright, I'm gonna place my foot on its lower body and kick it off and then stab it in the head with my foot still placed on its body to pin it down. No issue whatsoever. You knock it down, stab it through the head, it's still moving. What the fuck? Guys, I should just two of you hop on my noble steed and we go. Uh, Cleric, where are you in all this? Um, I was probably following the paladin, so I ran downstairs when what's his name yelled. Okay. And, yeah. So who's jumping onto the cubed cockroach, which allows for three people to ride? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna on. jump on. I'm gonna jump on. I'm gonna point my spear forward, so if we hit anything, it's gonna get hit. Oh, Eric, you better run, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I'm gonna stay off of the thing. I'm Actually, gonna so the dwarf yeah. is going to run. Actually, I yeah, feel like decide. that's a bad idea. Um, actually deciding I'm going to try and, uh, actually cover everyone's escape. I think that's a good plan because you have to prove yourself <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm gonna run out the door, grab the cube of voodoo and my arrow, and jump on the steed. Okay. Okay. And we ride off! <laughs> you, you guys are completely fine. Um, we're gonna leave it to just checks for Leifon because and maybe there's a horde in front of you. I They're stayed. moving very slowly. Okay. What checks? Two. Okay. Um, Cleric, you stayed? Yeah. You stayed, okay. Uh, so the part in the paladin you die. definitely I survived. Swear they definitely survived, but we're gonna find out what happens soon. <laughs> so, roll for initiative. Sound to get high rolls. <laughs> okay. So, it is fighter, then cleric, and it doesn't matter for them because there's literally that three like a dozen of these guys. So I'm just gonna <laughs> have them go after you. So what do you wanna do, fighter? Uh I'm gonna try and decapitate one. Okay, roll the hit. You succeed in stabbing it in the head. Alright. Roll damage. Um, only three. <clears throat> do you stab it in the eye socket? You don't think you deal de dealt much damage, but maybe it can't see you. Okay. Clark, what do you do? Um, I'm going to, I, I guess, reach out. Like, as one of them's, you know, doing the zombie walk towards me, I'm going to grab its wrist and cast Cure Moderate Wounds. Okay. Ooh. Heal. Unless you want to roll, which gives you a chance to crit. You crit it. <laughs> and I have been powered. It's, it's full of, it's, it's, it's crispy, man. There's like, it's literally just, it turns white and just poofs away at you. Yes. Victory is. Uh, there is now 11 remaining. <laughs> 11 out of 12, guys. You should just right. run. That's so much. 
No, we will hold the line. Okay, so only the three closest to you will get the hit. Flash power. It's just a 2d6 because these guys are relatively weak. It's just numbers that they have a chance to hurt you at all. Fighter. Yep. Cleric. Fighter. Okay. Fighter, you are hit. No, you're not. Five. So they totally gain experience, so they're gonna level up maybe. Maybe, <laughs> just maybe they'll level up. Uh, fighter, go ahead. Uh, I want to try and uh, knock one down with the Buddha Mars Spear. Okay. You do have expertise in close range, so you knock one down. Yep. Um, then I'm going to try and do what I did again, place my foot against its stomach and then impale it in the head. Impale in the head, deal damage. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Cleric, what do you do? While he's got this one pinned, I'm gonna grab its leg and cast Cure Light Wounds again. Go ahead. I'm gonna heal them all to death. <laughs> That's not a crit, but you still might kill it. Kill it. Okay, that kills it. Yeah, it is fried. So if it isn't clear, they all have 10 HP. Okay. Okay, there's uh, 10 remaining. Like I said, the clo closest three get to hit you. And get to try. Fail. Cleric. Hit. Fighter. Hit. Okay. Okay, both of you take this amount. Simplify so I don't have to roll so much. Do you take four? Unless you have armor. I was gonna say, I have armor, armor. armor now, so I take one. <laughs> Wait, um, let me check what my. Uh, it's two armor, so it's two damage. Um, there are still ten remaining, and they're getting to this point where they start to circle around you. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna suggest we back into the house so they all have to funnel through the door. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally on board with that. Alright. <laughs> so we're gonna back into the house. <laughs> okay, you back into the house. I'm gonna have my spear pointed at the door before I need to try to get through. Mm. Cleric, what do you do? I'm going to brace myself to the side of the door for any of them that don't immediately die from being stabbed <laughs> by the fighter. Okay. We're going to leave a giant pile of fucking undead <laughs> dust at this door. <laughs> fighter, roll the hit. Alright. Succeed, roll damage. You dealt five damage. Uh, cleric, it's all up to you. If you want to clear them, go ahead. Um... Are there multiple of them at the door? There's one at the door. Maybe on their turn, more will come through. Okay, I will... Yeah, that one's toasty. <laughs> that one's gone. <laughs> yeah, he, he... A bright glowing light fills his body and disappears. Like, how there's do... not even ash remaining from this guy. How does Empower work on... Uh, cure Moderate Wounds? Because at Cure Light Wounds, it tripled how much I can do. Uh, does it specify Cure Light Wounds? No. Empower is just any... basically anything I do. <laughs> Let me look at it. Let's see. Empower. Where is Empower? Uh, double effect. Double spells effect. Most of your yeah. spells are, like, if it's a number, it can be, can be doubled. If it's a, like, a status effect, it can't be doubled. Right. But your healing for moderate runes, it will double. Okay, and then on so, 10 plus, you said yeah, it on all 10 crit. plus, it will crit. Or you triple. So basically, if you do it, it's triple. That's 68. <laughs> yes. You're definitely, can, definitely well suited for this fight, unless you get killed right now. Right. Or that, you could just start resurrecting these guys. That might work too. Yeah, that's, that's an option. Certain. Okay. However, most of them have been completely fried, so I don't know if there's enough body there for me to reanimate. Okay. One funnels through the door, and ambles towards the fighter. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, right, yeah, he's, uh, he's done, right? Yeah, you already attacked, so it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I thought the, uh, we will continue and I forgot. Okay. Uh, they will, again, attack the fighter. And the third one... Attempts to hit the cleric. So, if you got hit at least once, this one is the fighter, and this one is the cleric. And you killed 
three so far, so there's nine remaining. And then whatever you're about to do now. Alright, I'm going to uh, push my spear so far in it can hit a second one behind it. Can I do that? If you crit on the strength check, otherwise you just deal damage to his first one. Okay. No. Nope, you dealt damage to the first one. You dealt almost enough damage to kill the first one. I was gonna say, then you pull your spear back out. <laughs> the last yeah. One. <laughs> uh, cleric, what do you do? Uh, the one that just touched me is getting lit up. <laughs> you succeed. It still success. How much is it? Roll it. Two D. There's a slight chance it will survive. No, it no, it doesn't. <laughs> cleric, you see against the window, two of them pushing against the glass. I will mention that to the fighter. I will be like, there's more trying to get in through the window. Okay, so okay. there is one less remaining, so there's eight. <laughs> Just fucking crispy that one. I love it. Two for the fighter. One for the cleric. And one attempt to break the... Well, actually, there's two attempts to break the glass. That one definitely didn't help. Well, that one broke. Uh, the glass is broken, and two proceed in. One more gets a shot on the cleric, then. So that's... How many... <laughs> uh, were you guys keeping track? Because I lost, lost count. Uh, so there's at least... both of us twice. Unless he's twice. In, in. Okay, uh, so both of you got two... D six no, because uh, you rolled two of them at once for me, and they both got four. Both got four? Oh, yeah, he did roll 2d6. Yeah. Don't see. Okay, so there's two for you. Succeeded cleric, and a miss, and a miss, and a success, and a hit. So that's two each, isn't it? No, that's, uh, that's two for the fighter and one for the priest. Right? Okay. okay, so that's nine for the fighter and one for the priest. And this is a lot of combat where you guys just not run, not run away from this thing. Okay, your turn. Uh, what, how many are left? Like seven? Um, uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say there was eight and then that one got lit. <laughs> Alright, that's what I'm trying to... I'm gonna try and, um, force my way through the door to push him out so that we can escape. Okay. So I'll be a shrink check. Yes, it would. You kill the one you're in front of, because it only had one point left. And what, <laughs> okay. e what exactly are you trying to do? I'm trying to uh, push them out the way so that me and the cleric can both run away. Okay. Uh, roll one more strength check because you're not dealing damage, but you did manage okay. to kill one just because of... <laughs> uh, you succeed. You knock down a path. It's not exactly the safest, so the uh, cleric is going to the roll of deck check. Succeed. Yay! <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna take a break here. Uh, yeah, okay. we're pretty much gonna yeah, finish off. Us. Yeah. So, you guys eventually make it to the mansion and along with everyone else. Cool. So, can we be done now, though? <sighs> uh, uh, Jack's just wanna AFK for a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, Kate, Eric, are you guys, are you two still there? Uh, Eric just went to the bathroom, but I would like to go to bed. Yeah, we're closing up right here. Okay. So, you both arrive at the door. Uh, the cleric and the paladin is just like solo 12 of these guys. But well, they're not exactly dangerous. But from where you are, you see, like, hundreds more coming from all angles on all the streets coming towards you. And that's where we end. Literally right. surrounded by vampires, Juan. Mm. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna end the stream here. Uh, we'll probably take care of living up tomorrow. Um, that's it. So, if anyone's still watching, thanks. But near the end here, it became a little anticlimactic in the sense that the fighter and the cleric weren't really in danger. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it could have been. But they I went to the house. that I was erasing things with a healing spell. Yeah, like, I, I completely forgot that you could get, like, 
do insane amounts of healing. Because if not, you guys would have had a lot more issue there. Yeah, as soon as we yeah. hit CC, I'm just like, I can heal everything. I feel like the I was just much acting more as CC there than anything else. Yeah. Okay. So if you're watching, thanks. But like I said, we're cutting off here. Everyone say goodbye, and I'm going to cut the stream. See ya. Good night, guys.